Investigators are learning more about the foundry accident in Saltville that sent seven people to the hospital yesterday. Cody Holyoke is live with the latest. Cody. Carol, good afternoon. All is relatively calm here outside Johnson Brass. Just about 24 hours after chaos unfolded in the foundry behind me. Employees tell me that part of the building was closed today as federal investigators from OSHA and fire marshals tried to determine exactly what was responsible for sending those seven workers to the hospital. We've just had an explosion in the foundry. Can you get somebody over here, please? Here, active fire. Uh, I can't tell there's too much smoke right Any now. Injuries? Uh, there might be a few, yes. That was just one of many 911 calls phoned into investigators yesterday. We've heard that term explosion thrown around quite a bit yesterday. Authorities now tell us that was not the case here. Rather, a piece of equipment, a die, failed and broke apart in a centrifuge, spewing that molten metal around Johnson's foundry. Medics rushed seven men to hospitals in Milwaukee and Grafton. We're told three of them are out and talking to investigators. Police tell me they are still trying to hash out all the details surrounding that hectic call. Just trying to contain what was going on and figure out what happened. It was quite chaotic when we got there. Lots of people from different parts of the business um, and, and just trying to figure out where our victims and people were. And there were people that kept all of a sudden showing up with injuries. So there was, it was kind of just a chaos that was controlled. Now, employees here today told me foundry workers were told to take the day off. We have repeatedly reached out to Johnson Brass, this company, for comment. We were told they have nothing for us yet. We'll have an update and more of those 911 calls tonight at 6. Live in Sockville, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Cody, for the update.